Hi everyone, welcome back to Yellow Cottage Soapery. I'm making coconut lime verbena and I'm doing it in my tall and skinny mold. I'm going to try to do the tall and skinny shimmy and with this technique you have to have your colors stay pretty fluid because you're, you're pouring down the wall of the mold and you kind of have to tilt it back and forth and alternate your pour. So. I'm going to attempt to do that, and hopefully this fragrance will stay pretty fluid. Um, I'm using Swiss Chocolate Brown from TKB. I have Sunshine Yellow from Nurture Soap. I have Maniacal Pea from Mad Oils and Lounge Lizard from Mad Oils. So, the brown is going to kind of be... Hey, Night. Love, you. Love you too. The brown is going to kind of be a highlight in the soap, and then I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do like a little bit of an in the pot swirl for the bigger sections of it. Um, if you've never seen a tall and skinny shimmy, um, you can just Google it and it'll, some pictures will come up. Um, it kind of has an S shape going down the center of it because of the way you pour it. So I'm going to try it. If it doesn't turn out, it's fine, but I figured. I had a pretty fluid fragrance, so I thought I would, or supposed to stay, keep your soap fluid, so I'm going to try it, and I'm going to strain my lye because I'm having lye in this batch. I don't want to mix it too much because I want it to stay thin. So I want it, I'm just mixing it just enough to so it's emulsified. And when you're doing that, what you want to look for is when you're emulsifying, when your when your soap is emulsified, you won't see a difference between the oil. Um, it's kind of hard to explain, but you can kind of see like a clear on the top where it means it's not fully mixed in with the lye. Um, and it's not at trace yet when you're just emulsified. It's this kind of the step before getting to a light trace. But when you're emulsified, your lye solution and your oils and butters are fully mixed. So it's safe to go ahead and separate and you start um, mixing your colors.
to cut coconut lime verbena and although I was hoping to do a tall and skinny shimmy I know that that is not how it turned out. It thickened too quickly on me and wasn't pouring down the wall like it's supposed to so I'll try the technique again at some point but it's interesting. I like the in the pot swirl. I don't know if you guys can see very good on camera the little colors. But if you see with like um, the shimmy, it's supposed to kind of go. Um, so these should be more defined, these little parts right here with the color. So it's kind of like it should be, but not really. But it does smell really good if you like coconut lime verbena. kind of like a marbly look to it. So you can kind of get the idea more from that, how it's supposed to be. Overall, I'm happy with how they turned out. They're different. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.